हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक मशीन सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस इज सब्जेक्ट कम्स अंडर द बीटेक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फिफ्थ सेम एंड इन दिस सब्जेक्ट कोड इज हियर एम ई थ्री वन सेवन एंड यूनिट नंबर फोर एंड लेक्चर नंबर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव so today i will discuss about the topic regarding hydraulic turbine so hydraulic turbine are the prime movers that uh, converts the energy of the falling water into a rotational mechanical energy into a rotational mechanical energy and consequently to a electrical energy through the use of generator that are connected to the turbine so this gen generator uh, gives the electrical power so for my introduction myself rahul kumar assistant professor of department of mechanical engineering suresh gyan vihar university jaipur and uh, this type of hydraulic turbine hydraulic turbine mainly it convert the uh, hydraulic pressure into the uh, form of uh, mechanical work and this much mechanical work we can use different kinds of purposes and these purposes just like a electricity generator generation and uh, you can um, drive different types of equipments and uh, you can generate a, uh, you can generate different kinds of work and uh, for the objectives of this topic just you go through the next page for the case of objective if i am talking about the objectives and uh, the by the end of this section you should be able to understand about the hydraulic turbines and uh, just like as a and uh, this uh, lecture give a overview of hydraulic give a overview of hydraulic turbines and these hydraulic turbines sometimes is called the water turbine and uh, the water turbine is a device that perform the potential energy of a head of the water into mechanical work so so uh, this is a one type of energy conversion device and uh, it converts the uh, energy by the moving a prime mover and that converts the energy of a falling water into a rotational mechanical energy and consequently to the electrical energy through the use of generator that are connected to the turbine the main objective of this uh, hydraulic turbine is converts the energy in the other form so this is a very interesting unit and uh, this is your uh, fourth unit in this uh, lecture series and in this uh, lecture series uh, this unit gives the uh, just like as a introduction of uh, turbines and different types of turbine just like as a kaplan reaction and pelton type of turbine and some cavitation related problem and uh, after cavitation some uh, uh, drop tube related problem is here so here uh, in this uh, unit i will discuss about the uh, different kinds of theoretical approach with theoretical approach i will discuss about the uh, numericals also so this is a very interesting chapter so we move to the introduction if i am talking about the introduction of the turbine so the introduction of the turbine this is very vast topic but here i will cover only some topic regarding this so in hydraulic turbines are the machine which converts kinetic energy into mechanical energy simply the the hydraulic tur turbine gives the conversion uh, energy conversion process and this energy energy conversion process this means hydraulic energy is converted into the mechanical energy and uh, the mechanical energy developed by a tur turbine it is used in a running and electric generator and this electric generator is 
it is directly coupled to the generator directly coupled to the uh, prime mover of turbine and if prime mover of the turbine is rotated then generator is also rotated and this generator develops the electric power which is also sometimes called the or uh, known as hydroelectric power because uh, electricity generation uh, are the different different ways just like a uh, steam power generation thermal power generation and the uh, some nuclear power generation sometimes solar energy generation so energy generation processes are different types but here i will use only means in this chapter i will use only hydroelectric power so if you want to generate the energy if you want to generate the energy in the case of uh, water in the case of water so this kind of energy generation is called the hydro hydroelectric power and uh, in general way a water turbine consists of a wheel all water turbines consist of a wheel and this wheel is called the runner and which is provided with specially designed blades or buckets here blades are the here uh, blades of the turbine this plays a very important role for the energy conversion process and these blades sometimes called bucket and sometimes called blades and these blades are uh, it may be uh, cambered and non cambered blades are used these are the depend on the type of turbine and the water processing large hydraulic energy when it strike the runner and causes to it it to rotate and the hydraulic uh, but if the uh, case of blades so turbine blades consist of a row of blades that are fixed on a rotating shaft or are on the blade on the plate and uh, some blades are stationary and uh, the combination of stationary and rotating blade one set or uh, one couple is called the uh, set of turbines blade this is the uh, one uh, stage stage of the, of the turbine and this is referred to the axial the turbine but in the case of uh, hydraulic turbine here only one stage right so and uh, and the turbine operating parameters different types of parameters are used for the operating range these are the uh, rotational speed and uh, physiometric head and these type of term are used here so i will discuss these term one by one in this chapter so we move to the next uh, mainly the hydraulic turbines only for the case of hydraulic turbine these turbine are divided into the two groups first one is reaction turbine and second is impulse turbine first group is this is a reaction turbine and second is impulse turbine so these uh, two groups are divided by the different kinds of uh, uh, characteristics characteristics okay uh, the main difference between this uh, reaction and impulse turbine are just like as a in which uh, pressure drop takes place means uh, first a reaction turbine case in this uh, case pressure drops it takes place in both stages means uh, stator and rotor case but in impulse turbine here pressure drops only in the rotor place so these are the different and lot of differences regarding this uh, reaction and impulse turbine case so we move to the one by one for this case and uh, the characteristics and comparison and selection purpose the concept of specific speed means uh, if uh, i want uh, selection of the go to the selection of the turbine and uh, the characteristics of this uh, turbine for this purpose 
we can use a one parameter this is called the specific speed means what is the specific speed of the turbine right and uh, these uh, hydraulic turbine it may be divided into different different types some uh, type of the suppose some high pressure turbine some low pressure turbine some turbines are high head turbine some low head some medium head this is the, depend on the range of this uh, dam and uh, the some are the very high head uh, turbines and this, this is situated in russia and uh, and one is situated in china also and uh, i will give the brief discussion about this in this chapter so we'll move to the next yeah and these are the if uh, if i am talking about the different types of turbine these are two types of turbine this is the impulse and reaction or reaction or impulse turbine and the impulse turbine refers to the velocity turbine means here a uh, specific speed is used right and the reaction turbine this is a pressure turbine this is a case of this pressure turbine and uh, if for the case of impulse or velocity turbine in this case of impulse turbine all the very available potential energy or head is converted to the kinetic energy or velocity head by passing it through a contracting nozzle or by a guide vanes before it is strike the bucket of the turbine so in this turbine impulse type of turbine some uh, this shape like this shape is bucket is used for this case and uh, this bucket water is strike at the middle of the middle of the suppose this is a butter bucket so water is strike at the middle of this portion and this then water is divided into two parts water is divided into two parts and the wheel remove remove revolves free in air and water in the contact with only a part of the wheel at the time and uh, water is strike on the bucket so it creates a uh, some cavitation type of problem so i will discuss this cavitation problem in the next lecture and uh, this uh, impulse turbine this is a simplest type of turbine and it consists of a row of nozzle it consists of a row of nozzle followed by a row of blade and the gas is expanded in the nozzle converting the high thermal energy into the kinetic energy and this conversion can be represented by this equation v equal to under root 2 lambda h and this high velocity gas impinging on this blade where a large portion of the kinetic energy of the moving gas steam is converted into the turbine soft work and this soft work provide a rotational speed of this turbine based on this characteristics of this impulse turbine here uh, these uh, some characteristics are given and uh, the wheel passes passes are not completely filled and uh, second is here the water acting on the wheel vanes is under atmospheric pressure and the water is supplied at a few points at the periphery of the wheel usually one point occasionally two or more point and uh, in the last thing is here energy applied to the wheel is wholly kinetic energy applied to the wheel is wholly kinetic so this is the next last uh, point of this characteristics of the turbine and this uh, in the case of uh, impulse turbine so impulse turbine uh, gives the different types of stages the static pressure decreases in the nozzle which corresponding to the in increase of the absolute velocity so this is a velocity type of turbine so here the absolute velocity this is the different characteristics of this 
impulse type of turbine so an impulse turbine is essentially a low speed turbine and it is used for the relative high heads and ordinarily beginning in the neighbor, neighborhood of 150 meter and so is limited to about 1000 meter through a head of over 1770 meter has been utilized by impulse wheel in Switzerland. So this uh, impulse type of turbine, this is a very famous category of turbine in the in uh, in the water turbine case and in which a jet of water pushes the rotor and uh, water jet collides directly directly with the uh, rotor blades and uh, impulse turbine are the most accessible form of the turbine and it contains a series of blade and the series of nozzle and nozzle blades are the major component of an impulse turbine means the major component of the, this turbine is the nozzle and blades right and uh, these are the different types of uh, examples of impulse type of turbine first one is Pelton wheel turbine this is the very famous turbine uh, for the production of electricity and uh, second is Turgo impulse wheel turbine and uh, third is uh, Garrett turbine and the Banke turbine and the Jowell turbine so these are the different types of uh, turbines but out of the, these only Pelton wheel turbine is predominantly, predominantly used at present. So this uh, type, this uh, Pelton wheel turbine is very famous turbine and it is used in very many high head application applications and uh, so this is a figure of Pelton wheel, wheel turbine and in this type of turbine uh, this is uh, the real feature, real picture of the turbine right and this is the tail rays and here is uh, water is coming from the out upper side from the top head of the dam and uh, this is connected to the different types of accessories here and uh, this turbine gives a one uh, gives a mechanical work and this mechanical work converted to the generator and uh, in the means uh, here one uh, generator is coupled and this generator provide uh, electricity to the turbine so this is a one kind of Pelton heat turbine so this is the turbo impulse turbine here this is the generator in this figure just you see this is the generator and uh, this generator coupled with the router of the turbine and here this is the nozzle inlet here the uh, water is comes from this this side and this water is tried to uh, turgo runner but difference in between the uh, Pelton wheel and the turgo impulse turbine only this runner that time runner is vertical case but here is runner is horizontal case so this is the turgonagar runner and the and the last portion is uh, gives the tail race of the turbine and if water is strike in the blade if water is strike in this blade so blades is moving blades is continuously moving and uh, if generator is connected to to this uh, blades of the runner then generator is moving and if generator is moving then it produces the electricity right so this is the main function of the tur turgo impulse turbine is here and then uh, move to the next uh, turbine this is the girard turbine in this uh, girard turbine this is the uh, actual view and this is the systematic view of this turbine is here so for this case and in this uh, Girard turbine and this turbine is developed by Dominique Girard and uh, 
at the sense uh, it was developed as a 1851 and in the 19th century and it is a most commonly used turbine for the great heads for the high head application and it contrast to the other impulse turbine gear turbine were made with full and partial case so gear turbine this is a very good turbine for this case and uh, this type of turbine where is used where the high heads are required where the high heads are required then digrad uh, this type of turbine provide a very good uh, application of this uh, electricity production right and uh, move to the next page this banki turbine is a one type of uh, cross flow turbine this is a cross flow turbine but in this turbine just you saw this uh, this is the nozzle of this turbine and here is runner is uh, connected and uh, in this runner this is soft and uh, this is the first stage and it can use by the different stages of the turbine and uh, here this is the casing of the turbine and this is runner blades and cross flow this is the second stage of the turbine and in between this is the uh, it given by the runner blades right and uh, this type this uh, turbine was made by the donet banki donet banki this is a german uh, scientist and uh, it was designed in 1903 it is also used for the high head turbine and uh, unlike most water turbines which have axial or radial flows here the axial or radial flow are used in clark cross flow turbine the water passes through the turbine transversely or across the turbine blades at the water wheel the water is admitted at the turbine edge after passing after passing the uh, inside this edge uh, runner it leaves on a opposite side means if it passes at this side and it leaves at the opposite side opposite side so it uh, it provides a one kinds of energy and or uh, and passing through the runner twice provide additional efficiency of this turbine means this type of turbine creates additional uh, power to the hydraulic uh, to the hydraulic phase uh, circuit and uh, when water leaves the leaves the runner and it also helps clean it of small debris and pollutions and the cross flow turbine is a low speed machine and that is well suited for the location with a low head but high flow with a but low head but high flow is used here so this is a for the conclusion of this uh, type of turbine this turbine is very suitable for the low head and high flow conditions and uh, this cross flow turbine is also constructed with different type of turbine and uh, this uh, turbine gives the different varieties of the uh, different varieties and uh, this by this different feature it is called the squirrel gauge turbine also it is called the squirrel gauge turbines also so next turbine in this uh, impulse turbine case this is the johnwell turbine for the case of johnwell turbine this is a water turbine design invented in france in 19, 1837 and introduced to united state of america around uh, <coughs> 1850 and the johnwell turbine is a mixed flow turbine johnwell turbine is a mixed flow turbine and uh, 
this is also used for the low head applications and uh, the common application of this type of turbine this is a used to production of the electricity for the small uh, small area means uh, it can produce only a small quantity of this uh, electricity and this type of turbine is very efficient and uh, here the journal water turbine it is used a runner is just like as a horizontal horizontal type of runner is used here and the water descends through the fixed curve guide vanes which directly to the flow sideways on to the uh, curve vanes on the runner and it is named after fusional was invented it right and uh, this new turbine satisfy the public interest in seeing the water wheels in action which was likely expected by the minor drawbacks at that time but all type of turbine are present in um, the family of uh, impulse turbine but present time pelton wheel turbine is most popular turbine for this uh, low head and uh, high flow application low head and high flow applications for the case of reaction or pressure turbine so in this case uh, the reaction turbine is a type of turbine that develops the torque by reacting to the fluid pressure or mass and the operation of the reaction reaction turbine is described by the newton's second law of motion and this is the action and reaction are equal and opposite action so in the reaction turbine the water enters the wheel under pressure the water enters the wheel with a very high pressure and flows over the vanes as the water flowing over the vanes is under pressure therefore wheel of the turbine runs full and may be submerged below the tail race or may discharge into the atmosphere and this uh, tail race is called the uh, draft tube of the turbine so uh, in this uh, other case this is a velocity head type of turbine and in the case of the action turbine only a part of the available potential energy only the part of the available potential energy is converted into the velocity head at the entrance of the runner and the balance that forms the substantial proportion remains a pressure head and the pressure at the inlet to the turbine it much higher than the pressure at the outlet <coughs> so this type of turbine creates a, creates a very very high pressure and uh, <coughs> it varies through the passage of water through the turbine and major part of the power is uh, derived from the difference in pressure acting in front or back of the runner blades and only a minor part of the dynamic action of the velocity here uh, velocity con uh, water velocity contribution is less but pressure contribution is very high for this type of turbine so here the main parts of this uh, turbine is here first one is guide vanes spiral casing runner blades and the runner and water from from fan stroke so the and next part is here draft tube draft tube is the main part of this turbine it creates the negative or suction pressure and uh, these are the different kinds of characteristics of the reaction turbine is characteristics of the reaction turbine and the wheel passages first characteristics is here the wheel passages are completely filled with water here the wheel is this is totally uh, filled with water and uh, in the second case the water action on the wheel is under pressure greater than atmosphere the water action on the wheel 
is under pressure and pressure greater than atmosphere and the water enters all around the periphery of this wheel wheel and the last last characteristic is the energy in the form of both pressure and the kinetic is utilized by the wheel here so these are the four types of uh, reaction turbine and uh, these are the different kinds of uh, reaction turbines are these are the fernier fernier ron turbine thomson turbine propeller turbine francis turbine and the kaplan turbine uh, etc and out of these <coughs> here is only two popular turbines are used at the present time first one is francis and the kaplan turbine are predominantly used at the present so these uh, i will explain one by one turbine so first one is this is a one kind of ron ron uh, uh, turbine and in this turbine uh, just uh, this is a reaction turbine and here the vertical <coughs> horizontal sorry uh, horizontal runner is used for uh, making the turbine is here and uh, this uh, this these are the fixed blade this is the rotation of this runner is here and these are the rotating blades for this case so this uh, fixed and uh, moving movable back blades here is one slit is here this is called the gate of the turbine so here is uh, in the next portion uh, tail rays or a draft tube is connected in this turbine and uh, move to the next turbine for this uh, series of the turbine this is a thomson turbine for this thomson turbine here uh, are the this is a vertical case of the here is a runner is connected to the vertical and this is a one type of reaction type of turbine and uh, this is developed by the thomson double vertex uh, turbine is here here the, this is the <coughs> near side and this is the far side of this uh, view and uh, here uh, one uh, mechanism is connected this is called the speed control mechanism this is called the speed control mechanism so these are the different kinds of uh, turbines lead to the reaction turbine then move to the next turbine is here this is a propeller turbine in this propeller type of turbine here a propeller is used as a runner and the water is strike on this runner or propeller and uh, this uh, this type of blades are used and this is a horizontal type of turbine and uh, if <coughs> water is strike on this blade and uh, for this case blade is moving and then then uh, water is goes to the tail rays or the draft tube of this turbine so this is the different kinds of turbine and the popular turbine only two is here one is francis and kaplan turbine these are the two most popular turbine for this case then we move to the next uh, turbine case is here francis turbine this is a francis turbine is a type of water turbine is a type of water turbine and it is an invert flow reaction turbine and that combines radial and axial concept that can to combine the radial and axial flow concept and francis turbine are also most common water turbine in use today and can achieve over 95% efficiency and the process of achieving this uh, modern francis runner design only for the runner design here uh, runner is used as a vertical case and uh, <coughs> these uh, francis turbine are primarily used for the electricity production power plant electricity production power plant and uh, <coughs> this is directly coupled to the generator and generator produce the electricity and this is a uh, 
generally range of this electricity production is 1000 megawatt and through the mini hydro installation may be lower and the, this is a best suited for the uh, head height in between 100 to 300 meter 100 to 300 meter and uh, <clears throat> and it also used in the input pipe spanish to get just like a 1 to 10 meter also so the speed, speed ranges in different type turbine units are from 70 to 1000 rpm right 70 to 1000 rpm for this speed and uh, the francis turbine is usually mounted with a vertical shaft vertical shaft to isolate water from the generator and this is also facilitate example for the runner <clears throat> Here the different components of this uh, uh, Francis turbine is here. First one is spiral casing. This is the outer covering of this turbine. This is called the spiral casing and the guide and stay vanes. These are the some uh, guide vanes are inside this and the runner blade. These are the guide vanes and this is the runner blades of the turbine and last portion of this turbine is here this is the draft tube draft tube uh, it creates the suction pressure and it always uh, at the downside and uh, this is uh, al always uh, fill to the water right <clears throat> and uh, this is only introduction class of uh, francis turbine or uh, different types of all of this here i will discuss only classification of turbines also so for the working construction and the numerical uh, numericals of this process turbine i will this type of uh, portion i will cover in this lecture next le lecture next series of the lecture so we move to the next type of turbine this is the kaplan turbine if i am talking about the kaplan turbine so Kaplan turbine is a pro propeller type water turbine and which is have a adjustable blades and these blades are adjustable and uh, here the main components of the turbine is first a router, a stator, router, turbine generator shaft and the turbine generator and wicket gate and the turbine blades also and these turbine blades <coughs> are the uh, adjustable type and the Kaplan turbine was an evaluation of the Francis turbine. Its invention allowed efficient power production in low head application which was not possible with Franz Francis turbine and Francis turbine is always used in the high head application, application and uh, the head range from the 10 to 17 meter but in the case of uh, francis turbine the head range is 100 to 150 meter here and here range head range is 10 to 70 meters on low only and the output range ranges from 5 to 200 megawatt but where is uh, electricity production for one unit is here 1000 megawatt but runner diameter in between 2 to 11 meter and 6 uh, and the turbine rotates at a, this turbine rotates at a constant speed so this is called the constant speed turbine so uh, or uh, we can say that for the conclusion of this type of turbine so Kaplan turbine is now widely used throughout the world in the high flow low head power production high flow low head power production unit and this development of this turbine is uh, used here for the different cases and uh, these are the classification basis <coughs> these are the classification of turbine on the basis of the direction of flow of water in the 
runner and these two classification based on the <coughs> tangential flow turbine radial flow turbine axial flow turbine and the mixed flow turbine is here so the next is here if we want to select the turbine for the production of electricity then the following uh, points are noted here the selecting <coughs> selection of suitable type of turbine depends on the available head suppose you have a head of uh, 100 meter or 150 meters so this is suitable for the high head turbine and if you have had a head of 50 uh, means uh, 30 meter to 70 or uh, 50 to th means uh, sorry 30 to 50 to 100 meter so this is suitable for the medium head turbine and if you have a head of 10 meter to uh, 50 meter so this is suitable for the uh, high uh, low head turbine right <clears throat> so for the basis of the different types of head these uh, turbines may be classified as follows first one is low head turbine medium head turbine and the high head turbines so this is the selection of this turbine is here so we move to the next uh, next uh, portion of this uh, lecture is here this is the mcq portion questions here the hydraulic energy is converted into another form of energy by hydraulic machine what form of energy is here so here the hydraulic uh, in the case of turbine the hydraulic energy is converted into the mechanical energy and uh, here is a uh, four option is given a is mechanical energy b electrical energy c nuclear energy d is elastic energy so the correct answer is here a a is the mechanical energy this is the right answer for this question and then move to the second question which principle is used to hydraulic turbine First one is Faraday's law, Newton's second law, Charles' law, and Bragg's law. So these uh, Faraday's law, Charles' law, and Bragg's law, these type of principles used in electrical uh, circuits. So here we only used Newton's second law. For the electricity generation in this turbine, we have used only Newton's second law and uh, <clears throat> next is here next question baguettes and blade used in turbine are used used to here four options here alter the direction of water switch off the turbine to regulate the wind speed to generate the what generate the power so a option is here right alter the direction of water is here alter the direction of water and then move to the next question and which kind of turbine is a ferron turbine inward flow turbine outward flow turbine mixed flow turbine and the radial flow turbine so the correct answer is here outward flow turbine is a ferron type of turbine then move to the next question. this is a question number five and uh, this uh, five question gives the blank space is the electric power obtained from the energy of the water this is the uh, rotodynamic power thermal power nuclear power this is uh, water energy created by the water only so this is called the hydroelectric power is the electric power obtained from the energy of the water is here so the fifth d option is right for this case and then move to the next question this is question number six which energy generated in the turbine is used to run electricity uh, power generator linked to the turbine shaft this is the mechanical energy potential energy electric energy and kinetic energy so a is here mechanical energy this is the right answer for this question and uh, then move to the next question this is the next question this is the hydraulic machine fall under the category of this is the polarizers kinetic machinery condenser rotodynamic machinery so d option is right rotodynamic machinery d answer is right for this case 
एंड मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट विच काइंड ऑफ टर्बाइन चेंजेस द प्रेशर ऑफ द वाटर इंटर थ्रो इट रिएक्शन टर्बाइन इम्पल्स टर्बाइन सी ऑप्शन रिएक्शन टर्बाइन रिएक्टिव टर्बाइन डी इज कानेटिक टर्बाइन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ये रिएक्शन टर्बाइन ऑनली राइट एंड दिस नंबर दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन एंड विच टाइप ऑफ टर्बाइन इज यूज टू चेंज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ वाटर थ्रो इट्स फ्लो दिस इज द कनेटिक टर्बाइन एक्सल फ्लो टर्बाइन इम्पल्स टर्बाइन एंड रिएक्शन टर्बाइन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ये इम्पल्स टर्बाइन राइट This is the last question, and uh, this question says the which type of turbine is a Francis turbine. This is the impulse turbine, the screw turbine, reaction turbine, turbo turbine. So the uh, Francis turbine is a reaction type of turbine. Is a reaction type of turbine. So this is the right answer for this. C option is right for this question. These are the different kinds of uh, references. and this is the engineering fluid mechanics by kl kumar and uh, fluid machines and uh, mechanics and machine by fm white and fluid machines and machine ak jain and fluid machinery and vl stepper mc grahil and fluid mechanics with applications sk gupta and v gupta for the new age publication right and uh, Thank you all of you for your kindly listening this lecture thank you all of you thank you